Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Nepal. In today's video we are going to cover this question of the question number 2 of assignment number 2 of subject business statistics and its subject code is 1430. Further it is dated to attempt 2022 of AIOU examination system. Let's start reading question number 2 then we will analyze the answer that I have that I have already prepared in MS Excel. Let's start reading the question. The data below are a random sample of 9 terms from the digest of earnings reports in the Wall Street Journal on February 6, 1992. Find the mean change in earnings per share between 1991 and 1992. Find the standard deviation of the change and standard error of the mean. Standard error of the mean means I cannot write it here, otherwise, I will tell you how it will be written. Okay, sigma x bar, uh, sigma x bar subscript. I hope you will understand this one. So, 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 and the third part is our average earnings per share different in 1991 and 1992 for the group consists of nine firms. Test at level of 0 0.02 of significance. Here is the firms 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the earnings of these five nine firms in 1991 are given here. And again, for the same uh, nine firms, the earnings per share in 1992 are given here in case 1992. So let's jump into the solution and discuss the solution uh, with you. So here is the solution. Before proceeding to the uh, solution, it is to be noted that the both firms are uh, related to the same uh, population and the samples are dependent and other important thing is to be noted that the sample size are less than 30 and it means we are dealing with the small sample size data so here in 1991 up to this up to column C and the data has been given in the questions after that we, we are going to be calculating the data so we are going to uh, determine the mean of change in earning per share for the uh, nine firms uh, with respect to the two years so i'm going to the, take the difference let's suppose earning in 1991 is represented by x and earnings uh, in 92 is uh, are represented by y so uh, mean change is equal to or change in earning per share is equal to not mean change in earning per shares with respect to two consecutive years 1991 and 1992 are uh, obtained by uh, subtracting uh, <coughs> this value from and this value or this value from this value no matter what the position you are taking uh, taking and solving or uh, getting the change in earning per share so after that uh, you will find this and uh, you will get this commission um, by clicking on auto sum or uh, by clicking equal equal sign and all equal after that i am going to take the square of this uh, column d and i am going to use the formula equals uh, sign d2 uh, raised to power 2 then you will drag it down you will get this up to this one i am going to be i uh, board this line to be differentiate with the uh, values of the data so uh, here is the 9.1391 is the summation uh, x minus y whole square so the uh, number of uh, values in the data are 9 i have determined this with the formula count so maybe there are large number of data sets you can use count function or method to find the number of that observation in the data so part 1 or a is find the mean change in earning per share between 1991 and 1992 so um, mean change is obtained by dividing this value by the number of observation 9 so 
uh, I am going to be show you that the 11 divided by the uh, B12 or uh, C12 because in both cases the number of observations are same for the both here and then and also the number of firms are same so let's uh, move to the ignore this part 2 find the standard deviation of the change and standard error of the mean so uh, standard deviation of the change is equal to s square is equal is equal to 1 over n minus 1 n minus 1 the degree of freedom summation x minus s x minus y whole square this one minus n into mean this one and this uh, this one scale mean scale so uh, i will get this value you can solve it uh, by separately uh, by solving this part first then dividing by this one then taking a square root of this one so uh, look at this i am going to do this same like this then this one this is s square i will put it here s square and then to getting s i am going to take the square root of this value so i will get this i'm 1.050104492 i am going to be uh, keep it into up to two decimal so i'm going to keep it like this so square root now standard error of the mean is equal to standard deviation this uh, this value divided by square root of n n is uh, 9 so n minus 1, n minus one uh, please keep in mind that it is a degree of freedom here we use this n minus 1 incorporating the x here so uh, come to the um, third part rc part where average ending per share different in 1921 and 1922 test at level 0.02 of significance uh, so we are going to enter into the uh, testing of hypothesis. So there are five steps: defining hypothesis, then level of significance, level of significance. Then we will get the critical value from the table. Then we will uh, calculate the observed t, uh, observed t value or t distribution. The question is here that why we are going to use the t distribution because the sample size is less than 30. So we are going to use the t distribution here. So um, in the first step we are going to calculate t table or t calculated or t observed value and in the five step we, we get our conclusion or to be the conclusion. So uh, here the defining hypothesis, null hypothesis is equal to us is equal to ui or 1991 or 1992. Alternative hypothesis ux is not equal to ui, it's the two tail uh, test. So uh, level of significance is equal to 0.02 is already given. Critical value, how we are going to get critical value? 2 is equal to 2.896 plus and minus. Plus and minus means is, as it is a two tail test, so it lies on the both side left and right hand. In uh, after two or three minutes, I will show the diagram where you will can easily understand in uh, more depth. So the limit of the acceptance of the region are this one or in terms of mean, mean is equal to how we will get uh, x uh, is equal to 0 plus minus uh, t value is 2.896 into b21. So look at the b21, this is standard error of the mean. So this, this value is also in the form of plus and minus because it has the two limits left. Uh, left hand and right hand so as per uh, hypothesis i am going to sign the two values plus and minus so t calculated t calculated we are going to use this formula t minus u h naught our s e uh, s e we have given is equal to minus 0 0.54 so this value is also obtained by uh, from this equation if you multiply T into SC divided by minus U H naught and minus U H naught we assume that the value of alternative hypothesis is equal to zero. 
so uh, now we are going to compare this and, and this value with the t critical value or the mean value with the uh, mean value of critical value basis on the critical value so conclusion is that minus 0 0.54 is greater than minus 2.896 or in terms of mean minus 0 0.19 is greater than minus 1.0137 therefore we cannot reject the s naught which means average earning per share were not different significantly different from the groups of firms in 1991 and 1992 years respectively let's move to the uh, diagram i don't know what's going to be so here the diagram look at this these are two uh, i'm going to be basic right so for this value is lies under this one and this value is lies under this one this line so this is our acceptance region as our values is like minus 0 0.54 is lies between the acceptance region so we cannot reject the h naught so it means we accept the h naught and the minus 0 0.4 is the uh, pre-calculated value which is lies here in negative side from this to here here we assume that the mean value is equal to zero so i hope you will understand this question if you have any question or query ask me in the comment section or if you want to discuss some point uh, please uh, come up with your query or uh, if you want to add something from your side to improve the quality of the solution draft your suggestion with logical arguments at the end if you found any mistake regarding calculation, please mention in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.